Are you looking for an affordable robotic vacuum? This is the Roomba 690 from iRobot. I'm Michael and this is Ultimate Tech Hub. And remember, if you like these videos, hit the subscribe button. It's free. Today we are looking at an affordable robotic vacuum from iRobot, the Ruma 690. Many robotic vacuums can cost $600 or even $1,000. So we were shocked to find that the Ruma 690 was only $260. But is it worth it? Let's find out. First, let's look at the features. On top, we have three buttons. The home button, which sends the robot back to his charging station. Clean button, which starts the cleaning cycle. And the spot clean button to clean a small area thoroughly. On the front is the large bumper to detect obstacles and a sensor on the front that helps the Roomba find the charging station, which doesn't always happen, <laughs> uh. but we'll talk about that later. A triple brush that spins to get hard to reach dirt from baseboards, a brush roller that does the bulk of the cleaning, and two knobby wheels to keep the vacuum moving. First thing you want to do is plug in the cord, plug in the charging dock, and place it on a flat surface. Line up these two sensors with the sensors on the charging dock so it will charge. Roomba recommends a 3 hour charge before use. And that sound means it's ready to go. So we determined after 3 or 4 weeks of testing the iRobot that it's not as easy as it looks. You're going to have to do some prep work. And by that I mean you're going to have to move some furniture. Uh, small furniture like bar stools, maybe small tables, move some cords. If you have children, you can move their toys out of the way. Some cords, if there's some cords on the floor. If you have animals, dog dish, you'll have to move. You could use the sensor, the barrier, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, but there is prep work before doing this. And you can see it going over there. It didn't go on the rug and we'll get to that in a minute. But let's watch it as it does the tile, and it does a pretty good job. It's everywhere. It does repeat a couple areas here and there, so there is a little bit of waste of battery power, and it repeats. One thing I noticed too is the room is kind of loud, so I wouldn't do this at night while you're sleeping. I would preferably schedule this when you're not home. And see it did a circle here. It looks like it had an area that had a lot of dirt, so it does a little circle and then uh, cleans it. Overall, it did a great job on our tile. Let's get to the other part. The first issue we had was it would not go on our throw rugs. And we have three throw rugs and of di different sizes and thicknesses, and it wouldn't go on any of them. Um, it's solid as a barrier, so that is an issue. This is the tallest of the throw rugs that we have, and I'm not too surprised they didn't go on this one. It's pretty tall. This one's not tall though. This one's more of a fluffy, lower uh, depth carpet. So I just decided to put it on top of the carpet and see what it does. Start the cycle and didn't do a whole lot. It kind of got stuck in the ripples. I guess it detected it as an obstacle. And like right here, it just got stuck. Let's try it on a different throw rug. Here we go. There we go, and hmm, yep, it got stuck under the couch. Not good. Here is the barrier I was talking about. It's a laser or a light barrier, it looks like, and they're kind of pricey. If you want to get a set of two of these, they're 80 bucks. So you could try putting shoes and see if it stops the Roomba, and of course it doesn't. The Roomba actually is pretty powerful. I put five pound weights down, and lo and behold, it just went over them. It wouldn't go over the rug, but it went over the weights. So I put two weights on top, and finally it did stop the Roomba. So you're going to need about 10 pounds to stop this Roomba. Let's try the app. Now, I love this feature because you can be at home in a different room and start this, or you can be at, you know, at work or on the road. It tells you how long it cleaned for and the battery life. Let's send it home to the charging dock. Oh, did not work. Nope. Let's uh, let's try that again. Where'd it go? Oh, it's going the wrong way. 
Oh, there we go. Okay. It's like it's on track to dock. Uh, no, it didn't. Okay, let's try it on carpet, one of our rooms. Maybe it needs a different surface. We put it right in front and let's see here. Nope. It didn't work. Let's try it again. Oh, where's it going? Oh, there we go. Come on, you can do it. Okay, fourth time's a charm. Let's try on tile again. And we can't make it any easier than this, about five inches from the charging dock. And yay, it works. So let's change the dust bin. This bin comes off easily with a little bit of pressure. And you can see the dirt collected. Yuck. To open, simply pull the yellow tab and dump the dirt into the trash. Notice the blue filter? Well, a three pack of these will cost you $25. Wow, overpriced for sure. To replace the bin, simply slide it back in. And that's it, she's ready to clean again. These are a few examples of what iRobot will charge for replacement parts and accessories. So back to the question, is the Roomba 690 worth $260? I would say yes, definitely. Not a penny more. It does what it's supposed to do. It cleans very well. It cleans tile very well. And it does clean carpet, but it doesn't clean throw rugs, obviously. And it has an issue going back to the charging dock. If you can put up with those issues, it's definitely worth $260. So remember, even though you pay $260 for this Roomba, the accessories you might have to buy are very expensive. These come with it, but if you had to buy these at iRobot, like this sensor here, this barrier, it's two packed for $80. That's a ripoff. So I want to thank you guys for being a part of the Ultimate Tech Hub. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It's free. And hit the bell icon for me so you can be notified of future reviews and tech videos. Thank you again for watching.